Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue humanity from the kingdom of darkness and to bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for Oren Andrew. Set him free from original sin, make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Or in Andrew, may you have strength in the power of Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, we now ask God to give this child this new life in abundance through water and the Holy Spirit, first by blessing the water in which he will be baptized. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace that you give us in this sacrament. Father, look down with love upon your church and unseal for us the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this spot the grace of your Son. You created humanity in your own likeness. Cleanse us from sin and a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this spot. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with Christ to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you come here to present or an Andrew for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which Lord Andrew is about to be baptized. So I ask you, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. Is it your will that Oren Andrew should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have just professed? Yes. And Andrew, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin and given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of Christ's body, sharing everlasting life.
or in Andrew, you become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in the white garment that you are wearing the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting light of heaven. <laughs> 